Valentine's Eve happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be a try this, not that video. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so this is going to be something new that I'm going to add to my channel. And this is just simply me looking at skincare products and really looking at their ingredients and talking to you about them. I talk a lot on my channel about ingredients. You know, when you're out there and you're buying your makeup, look at the ingredients. When you're buying your skincare, look at the ingredients. You know, we always need to be aware of that. Also, we need to be aware of how our body our skin reacts to certain ingredients. Have you ever applied your skincare and your eyes started running or maybe your nose started running or have you ever used a mascara or a foundation or something like that and your eyes and your nose start running? All of that means that you are allergic to something in that particular product and you need to probably try to figure it out so you can eliminate that. So I'm just going to quickly go into a couple of ingredients that are in this product that could possibly affect, you know, you or I in a negative manner. Now, will it have the same effect on everyone? No, but uh, more than likely, if you have sensitive skin or um, things like that, you might want to kind of stay clear of the products that I'm talking about. But, you know, it's kind of a trial and error, but I think that these types of videos may help or just kind of bring more of awareness for all of us to you know know how our body reacts to certain ingredients and then when we go out make sure we read those ingredients but anyway enough said about that the skincare that I want to talk about is a serum by Lancome and I have it pulled up on Sephora so this is the Lancome Advanced Genifique Radiance Boosting Face Serum, and I hope that I didn't butcher that. If you want it, um, if you want to get an ounce, that's going to be $78. If you want an ounce, 0.69, that'll be $115. And if you want 3.8 ounces, that's going to cost you a whopping $230. Now, it does have a good rating on Sephora. And really, when I saw this, I was very intrigued and wanted to add this to my next set of skincare. I noticed that it has hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, anti-aging, good for dullness, uneven skin tone, pores, and um, it's also made without parabens. And those particular concerns, that I think that that's what most of the, the, the ladies and the gentlemen in my age group are trying to address. And my age group is 50 and above. We all want to try to take care of what we have for as long as we have. So that immediately looked good to me. So I decided to move on. I also noticed that it has probiotics. I've talked a lot about probiotics on this channel and how important they are. Those are gonna put the healthy bacteria, you know, on your skin. If you see that a product has probiotics in it, definitely jump on that if there are no other egregious offenses in the skincare ingredients. So I move on and I noticed that it has alcohol denate in it and alcohol for some can be very drying. It can irritate the skin. So I'm like, hmm, now is that to say that I never or you should never get a product that has alcohol denate in it? Well, no, but if you know that you are sensitive to it, that it's a trigger for your skin, definitely stay away from that. At the bottom, I also noticed that it has fragrance in it. And I've talked a lot about having fragrance in, you know, skincare products. And it's interesting because my husband was using some skincare products of mine and he was like, ooh, you know, he was rubbing on his face. He was like, oh, this smells so good. And I'm just looking at him. I'm like, yeah. And, and he really loved it. And did he care that it had fragrance in it after I explained to him about fragrance? No, he did not care. But 
fragrance when anytime you see that typically it's there to cover up some type of smell of another ingredient or all of the ingredients put together so what makes fragrance so offensive is that we don't know what's in the fragrance so fragrance can have allergens in it, it can have carcinogens in it, you know, things that cause cancer. It can have all kinds of things that trigger your allergies. Uh, it can just cause a whole host of problems. And that's why, you know, you really want to, well, I really want to stay away from fragrance. Be Heppies, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but that is an ingredient that some studies have shown encourages free radicals and free radicals are the things that land up on our skin and wreak havoc. I've got some videos talking about free, uh, free radicals and how, you know, how they affect the skin, but to have a skincare ingredient that some studies have shown cause or emit free radicals is very concerning. Learning. So with all of that being said, I have two products. One is a vitamin C and that is by the Inky List. I'll put it somewhere right here. Inky List has excellent skincare products that I've tried before. Very affordable. That's something that is important. And the second one is by The Ordinary. Let me get the name right. This is the Marine Hyaluronic Moisture Lock Serum. And with that one, you're going to get the probiotic and the hyaluronic acid. So those are the three main ingredients that I saw in the Lancome skincare product that instead of buying that serum, you could buy those to get the same effect, have the same ingredients at a more affordable price. That in turn are not going to have all of those like alcohol and fragrance and all of that in there. So that's pretty much it, short and sweet. Remember when you're out there and you're buying your products, turn over and look at that ingredient list. I challenge you to do so. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.